Yeah, this part we did. So we did it. Okay, so first uh, I will try then your turn, then my turn, and then so on. Right? Okay. Yes. So let us do this first question. Do we do you have any doubt in the substitution method? Yes, sir. Okay. So we have pair of linear equation, right? And uh, x minus y is two. So this is the first equation. This is the second equation. So from equation one, right? X plus y is fourteen. So we can find the value of y. So the value of y would be how much? X yes. minus fourteen. Hmm, 40 minus x or x minus 40. This is 40 going minus. in this uh, right hand side. 40 minus. 40 minus. Yes, uh, hello, Tejasvi. Hi. Hello, hi, Tejasvi. Hi. You just Came at the perfect Thanks, sir. I'm really sorry, sir. No, no worries. No worries. Your exams are happening and you have lots of yeah, so pressure. So no worries. Yeah. So I uh, came at the perfect time. We just start. So we are at this first uh, question. Right. Okay, sir. Good. So how are you? Everything okay? You came late. Uh, yes, sir. Happy. I had some network issues over here. That's why it took time for me to join. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that because your voice is very. Yeah, so no worries, no worries. Uh, yeah, so we just, so you know already the substitution method, right? We we'll talked about that in the earlier class. Right? Yes, sir. Yeah, so y would be 14 minus x, right? Uh, Yes, sir. So we have calculated the value of y from the first equation. Now we will put so from uh, yeah. Now putting the value of uh, y in equation. Which equation we will put, uh, Amira? This value of y. Question second. Second. So x minus uh, 14 minus x. So keep a b very careful with this negative sign. Right. Whenever you have a negative sign, so just try the bracket part. Don't forget about this bracket part. Okay, so this would be x minus 14 plus x is 4. So this x plus x is 2x. 4 plus 14. So 2x is uh, 18. So x is 9. And uh, from third, we can calculate. So from third, value of y would be 14 minus 9. So this is 5. Okay, now we, now we have calculated the value of the two unknowns from the substitution method. Okay, Tejasvi and Amira, any doubt? No, yes. sir. Okay, uh, so you guys please note it down. And uh, so tomorrow is your exam, Tejasvi, right? Yes, sir. What I will do is that I will do a question and then I will talk uh, about that elimination at the time, right? So you yes, have some sir. you have some doubt in elimination. So did you revise that uh, quadratic equation part? Yes, sir, I did. Okay. So in the end, I will just uh, revise. Uh, so what I will use that I will revise all those uh, quadratic equation and elimination. Right? Okay. So sir. after the class, I will take. Uh, 10 or 15 minutes of yours. 
And if Abuja wants to stay, then and she can stay. But I will, in those 15 minutes, I will try to revise the quantity equation and the user. Thank you. And you guys are quickly move it down, right? Because we have a little first time. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, so whenever you guys have finished, you can just do it. Done, guys? Yes, sir. Yeah, Amira, done. Yes, sir. So let us do this one part two question. Okay, Amira, you tell me. What is so s minus t is uh, 3, right? So this is the first equation. And in the second equation, this is the so this is the fractional term. So first we will solve this, right? So we'll solve this equation and then we'll write. So s by 3 and t by 2 is 6. So what would be the LCM of 3 and 2, Amida? 6. 6. So this is 3 into 2, so 2s. Plus 3t equals to 6. So this is 2s plus 3t is equals to 36. So this is our second equation. Okay. Now what we will do is that we will find the value of s from this equation. So from first. And uh, they just read. So we will skip these part, right? Because, because these are same questions. So we'll skip this part and we'll directly come to this point. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay, so from first uh, S minus T is three. So S would be T plus T. T plus T or T plus T. So this is addition, so we, so we can write in the one. Okay. okay. Yeah, so this is three. So putting the value of of S in equation so, okay. so this is uh, Hello. Hello guys. Yes, uh, sir. I got this connected somehow, right? So I got disconnected. Yes, at sir. which point? At which point I got disconnected? So yeah. So this part, uh, right? So, yeah. so uh, and then uh, so you were there with me, guys, right? At this point. 
Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. so now, now we can uh, find the value of S. So from equation third, S would be G plus T, right? So this is like Okay, guys, so you guys please uh, note it down. And then uh, in here, I will talk about this elimination so that uh, so that uh, when we start this uh, next chapter, we don't know. Uh, so we, we don't need to discuss about the elimination. Right, because these are the same methods to solve the different equation, new equation to the right? So, So you guys have please note it down. Right, so you guys uh, now know about this substitution, right? Why do we call this substitution? Done, sir. Done. Okay. Yes, they just be done. So done. Okay. So let me talk about uh, this uh, elimination method in here. Okay. So that uh, if you don't get any time, then uh, that would be. So I have talked about this elimination method. Then that would be sufficient. Okay, they just. Yes, sir. Yeah, so I will discuss about this elimination method and then you tell me what is the doubt in that elimination. So, as so we want to do the whole questions, right? Yes. We want to do the whole questions in the exercise, right? Yeah, they will specify. Yeah, so what is the, what is, what is the question that you asked? Sir, like uh, we are doing uh, like exercise uh, question number one, we are doing one or two. So yeah. like afterwards, we will do the whole or just it's the what we will do? Yeah, so what I will do is that for now, because the just the exam is tomorrow. So if I stuck in these problems, so then it will take time, time to reach uh, the third exercise, right? So what yes. I will so what I will do for now, for now only, if on Sunday, I will discuss all those rest problems. Right, so for now, uh, I will do uh, quickly, uh, just touch up some problems. And then on Sunday, I will talk, uh, I will talk in the detail, okay? Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, so the elimination method, as the name suggests, we have to eliminate, right? Not somebody, but these uh, coefficients. So elimination, so we have these uh, 3x minus y equals to 3 and uh, 9x minus 3y equals to 9. So in elimination method, what we do is that we have these coefficients. So x has 3 and 9 coefficient, right? y has 1 and 3 coefficient, okay? Yes, sir. So in the elimination method, what we do is that we make one of the coefficients same, right? So let's say let's say this is 3x minus y. So what should we multiply so that we get the same coefficients? So what should we multiply here? Three. Three, right? Yes, sir. So this would be 9x minus 3y. And uh, this is y, this is... Solve the following pair of union equation by substitution. Okay, so I I chose the wrong question to solve this problem, right? Because you guys can see that this is uh, this is what kind of solution we will get. So what kind of solution we will get from this equation? 3x minus y minus 3 equals to 0, 9x minus 3y minus 9 equals to 0. A1 is how much? 
Sí. And the A2 is 9. So you guys can see that. What would be A1 by A2? Right. B1 by B2. Nine. Yeah. Yes, sir. Right again, 1 by 2. And C1 by C2 is again 1 by 2. So you see that what kind of solution we'll have? No, no solution. No, 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 no. Yes. Again, again, think, again. Think. Many solutions? Yes, yes, uh, right, Amira. Many solutions. Yes, guys, so there will be many solutions. So, yeah, so we'll skip that. So, this would have uh, many solutions. So, they would, you know, there would be not any one value of the XML. So yeah, so we'll skip this question. Okay, understood guys? Yes, yes sir. Yeah, so this was the trick in this question. Okay, so I should try, which has... Sir, by the way, the answer was given by the Yes, by the... I told no solution. Yeah, I, I the answer was? The answer given many solution was not by me, it was by the Oh. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, so no worries, so no worries, yeah, okay, yes, sorry, sorry about that, uh, sorry about that, yes, so, yeah, this is the question that we should think, right, so 0.2x, maybe Tejasvi is confused because her exam is tomorrow, don't take pressure, Tejasvi, okay? Yes, sir. Yeah. So uh, this is the question, and uh, you can tell me that what uh, what should we multiply here so that the coefficient of x becomes the same? What should we multiply? Two. Two. Okay. So if you multiply by two, this would become zero point four x, which is same, and this is zero point six y, and this is three point six. And this is 0 0.x, 0.5y, 2.2. So now uh, this is the equation, let's say, first, second, mm -hmm. and then we subtract. So if we subtract this equation, this becomes negative, this becomes negative, this becomes negative. So remember that whatever is the sign of this, this will change. So 4 minus 4 is 0. 6y is 0.5y is 0.1y plus. Okay, and uh, this would be how much? 6, so 0 0.3. So y would be 0 0.3 divided by 0 0.1. So this is 3. Okay, guys, understood? Yes, sir. And, uh, yes, sir. And to calculate the value of uh, x, we would put the value of y in one of the equations. So 0.2x plus 0.3y is 1.3. So 0.2x plus 0.3 into 3 is 1.3. So 0.2x and 1.3 minus 0.9, which is uh, 0 0.4. So then this would become uh, 0 0.2x is 0 0.4. So x is 0 0.4 divided by 0 0.2. So this is 2. So x is 2. So this was the elimination method. What we do is that first we eliminate the one coefficient. And then we use the, we put the value of the other variable in the first equation. Okay. Yes. Sir. Yeah. So, what was the doubt in the elimination method? Uh, the just. Sir, so it got cleared. So okay, it got cleared. Okay. I yeah. just wanted to know how do we solve it properly. Okay. So I it just. Got okay. Okay. So now. Yeah, and uh, so only the important thing is that first step is to 
first step is that make one of the coefficient same, right? And second yes, is that uh, subtract or add. You can add or subtract, right? What so let's yes. say that if this was minus four x, so then you need to add. Because if you subtract, then this would become positive and this would add up. So whatever is the coefficient, sign of the coefficient, you can subtract or add. And then third is find B, one variable. And fourth is put the value in other equation to find the other way. Okay, so these are the steps that we have to follow. And remember that whenever we are subtracting, whenever we are subtracting, you need to just change the sign of it. Okay, guys. So if yes. this, yeah, yeah, so I will do uh, some question based on this uh, after I do some problem from it. Okay. So I can school now. Yes. Yeah, so please you guys note it down and then I will skip those the rest of the question, right? So in the exam, uh, if they just be, they ask you that uh, solve with this method only, then you apply uh, those methods. And if they don't uh, give you any method, so whatever method you are comfortable with, so try it. Okay, sir. Sir, in my school, my teacher gave me some important questions which might come as similar to it. So yeah. I want your help to solve clear. those problems. Yes, sir. Okay, so you could have sent me those uh, problems earlier, right? So uh, then I'm. Yeah, so... And please tell me your WhatsApp number is in my father's phone. Okay, yeah. I yeah. have it number, its number. Okay, so can you send it to now so that uh, we can uh, solve it? Okay, okay. So, so how, how can I send? Like, I have to send to my father, and my father will send it to you? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, so... Your father, so there is. Uh, so there are four levels of security. You will send it to your father, then your father will send it to learning, and from learning, they will send it to me. So three levels of security. Yeah. So how about I type over here and do? Yeah, you send me those PDF, right? So you have it in the PDF form or what kind of form they, they have given? I just wrote it down, the tool in the class. Okay, so, it and I just wrote it down. Okay, so how many questions were there? How many? Actually, there are total five questions. Yeah. The first, the first is easy. Second, yeah. third, and fourth. I just wanted your help. Okay, okay. So you just uh, take the photo of those questions and send it to your father, and uh, then your father okay. will send. Yeah. So, so she can uh, like. Uh... If the questions are not that much, she can write in the chat or dictate it, or like she can upload or like from in the chat section, there is option. Yeah, so whichever takes the lesser time. So Tejasvi, what do you think? Which will take the lesser time? Writing from and upload in the chat. Yeah, so can you can you upload an image in the chat? Mm, let me check, sir. Yeah, so that would be, yeah. Thank you, thank you, Amira. Your brain is sharp, right? So you are using your 100% of your brain. Yes, sir, we can. Oh, so then send it here. Thanks, okay. thanks to Amira, yeah. Okay, so yeah, and uh, one more suggestion, Tejasvi, that uh, don't uh, so don't be dependent upon those questions, right? right. Yeah. yeah, because they they at uh, yeah, so they might uh, trick you with those. Yes, questions. sir. 
Yeah, so while you are uploading, we can do this. Uh, so did you guys note it down? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, yeah, so you upload it in the chat box and in the meanwhile, let's do the second part. Yes, they just we are you here. Yes, I am here. Yeah, so let us solve this problem. Right. 2x plus 3y is 11. Right, and 2x minus 4y is minus 24. Right, so what I will do is that I will first uh, do it with the substitution method and this elimination. So then you guys, you guys can understand the two methods simultaneously. So first we have to calculate the value of y term here. This is the first equation, this is the second equation. Right. So let us calculate the value of y from this first equation. x is 11 minus, you have to calculate the value of y. So 3y is 11 minus 2x, y is 11 minus 2x by 2. Okay. And we can put the value of this y in the second equation. So putting the value of the y's right and 2x minus 4 into 11 minus 2x y3. And this is minus 20. Okay. Yes. So we have to take the LCM here, right? So if we take the LCM, this would be 6x minus 4, 11 minus 2x by 3 and minus 22. So this would be 6x minus 44 plus 8x. And this is 70 because this is multiplied. So this is 8 plus 6, 14x. And uh, minus 72 plus 42. So this becomes 14x is equal to 8, and this is uh, 2. So minus, right? So this would be 2. So this is minus 2. Okay. And what would be y? So y would be y is 11 minus 2 into minus 2 by 3. So 11 minus 2 minus 2 is plus 4 by 3. So 15 by 3, so this is 5. Understood, guys? Yes, sir. Yeah. And uh, we can uh, also solve the solve this by the elimination method also. So from the elimination method, this is two x plus three y is eleven, and two x minus four y is minus twenty four. So first we have to make the coefficient same. Are the coefficient same? Yes, uh, Amira and Tejasvi. The first step is that make the coefficient, one of the coefficients here. So are one of the coefficients here? Yes. Yes. So if the first step is clear, then uh, we have to start. So the second step is add or subtract. So what we'll do is that we'll subtract, right? So this would be minus, this would be minus or plus? Plus. Plus. 
and this would be minus. Uh, uh. Minus. Mm, this is minus, so this would be plus. Plus, right? So this cancels. This is seven y, and this is thirty five. So y is five. So you guys can see the difference in the substitution and the elimination method. Y is five. So two x plus three y was eleven. So two x plus three into five is eleven. Two x would be eleven minus uh, fifteen. So two x is uh, minus four. X is minus two. So x is minus. 4. So did you guys uh, see the difference in the elimination and the substitution substitution method? Which method did you guys uh, find uh, easy? Which method is easy, guys? Yes. Elimination. Okay. Elimination. For the, for Amira, the elimination method is easy. Yes, for Tejasvi. So which method is easy for them? Both, sir. Both, OK. Yeah, so this is one. OK, so uh, now we have calculated the x and y value. I just wanted to uh, tell you guys what is the difference between this elimination and the substitution. OK, so now we have some uh, questions. So I have sent you the questions. Yeah, so I'm dying down a little bit. And uh, yeah, so this is in this one. Okay, this is done. Okay, so second, third we discussed, right? So we've only uh, shared the two and three question. Yes, Where sir. Are... The first one we need to find it by like if it's yeah. intersect or point or parallel or that one. It is so it's I can do that. It's easy. Right. So only three yes, questions. Sir. Yes, sir. Two you more said... are there. Yeah. Two two more are there, but yeah. So you can solve them. Yes. Okay, okay. You try and uh, if you find any problem, so just uh, text it to the learning your team. They will text it to me and then I will send you the solution. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sir. okay, yeah. So let me let me uh, bring uh, bring that video to me. Okay, where is that? So let me bring that video. So, So the questions. So you will tell me the answer, right? You will tell me, and me and Amira will help. Yeah, so is it uh, visible? Yes, sir. Yes. So this question I gave in the homework, right? Yes, I don't have that, but I just want to know how, again, how we solve it. Okay, yeah. So no solution meaning what we have to find. Even, yeah, you tell me why I'm telling you. So no solution what uh, we need to find. What is the condition for no solutions? Uh, yeah. What is the condition for no solution? Uh, uh, is no. A1 by. Yes, A1. By A2. Yes. 
P E one by P two. Yeah, equal or not equal? It's not equal. Not equal. No, no, it's equal and by P one and P two, and it's not equal to C one by C two. Yes. So is this correct, Amira? Yes, Amira, is this correct? Hello, Amira. Your mic. Yes, is sir. Yeah, is this correct? It's correct. Yes, sir. Yes. So this is for the you no know, solution. Good, good. So you have prepared for this. So this condition is for the you no know, solution. Now we just have to find what is a a one is how much. A1 is yes. and A2 is 3. Okay, so your voice broke at some point. So let me write it in the general form first. This is uh, 0 and 3x plus 3y plus 5 is 0. So yeah, A1 is, uh, you said 1. Yes, sir. And B1 is? 2. Mm -hmm. Minus two, sorry, minus, minus two. two. C1 is? Five, minus five. Minus five. And A2 is how much? A2 is three. And B2 is? Uh, one? No. K. K. Right. So don't bother about this. Uh, C. So we have to just apply this condition, right? So A1 by A2, which is one by minus two, and A2, okay, A2 is three. So one by three equals two, B1 is how much? Minus two, and uh, B2 is how much? B2 is K. B2 is K. So this is K. So this goes over here, Right, and this goes over here. So k is minus six. Understood? Yes, sir. Yeah, so, and uh, let us come to this uh, next question. If in a rectangle, the length is increased and breadth is decreased by two units, the area gets reduced to, reduced by 20 square, square units if, however, the length is reduced by one and breadth is increased by two units. The area increases by three. Find the area of the rectangle. So before I do this question, so can I erase this part? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So you tell me, just me, what is the area of the rectangle? Area of rectangle. Yeah, first tell me what are the two. Let's let me write it as this is the rectangle, right? So, what are the two unknowns here? Let the length and breadth be x and y. Yes, absolutely correct. So, length and breadth. So, you tell me, uh, length is let's say x, breadth is y. So, what would be area? Mm -hmm. x plus y equals no. Area, just tell me area. What is the area of the rectangle? Area. What, what is this area? Area of rectangle. Perimeter, you know, 2L plus B, right? What is the area? What's length into breadth. Length yes. into breadth. So is that correct, Peter? Yes, sir. So from this point, what would be area? X into one. X into one. Right. Yes, sir. Now we know this much. So let us uh, keep this information in, in our mind. Okay. So now uh, let us understand about this first information. So if the length is increased uh, and the breadth is decreased by two units, so if length is increased by two units, so what is the new length? Length is increased by two units. So length is x, but it is increased by two units. So what is the new length? x plus two. Yes, correct, x plus two, new breadth. y plus two. y plus two. So what would be new area? 
this is the new length, this is the new length. So what would be new area? X, Y plus two. Uh -huh. So length into depth, right? Yes, sir. So what would be the new area? Yes. What is the length? Length is X plus two. Right. And uh, breadth is Y. So what would be the new area? X plus Y equals two. No, no. no. So, so we have length into breadth. This is the area, right? Yes, sir. So just uh, if I write new, new. So new length, new breadth, right? So X plus two, okay. Y plus two. Oh, yes, this is sir. decrease. Okay, so this is decreased by two. Breadth is decreased by two. Right, in the question, breadth is decreased, not increased, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. So this is the new area. Okay. Understood yes, any doubt? Now, what yes. is the what is given according to question? So this new area, this new area gets reduced by 20 square units. Right. So what was the previous area? Uh, what was the earlier or previous area? Sorry, sir. What was the old area? <clears throat> yes. So this was the old rectangle without increasing or decreasing the length and width. So this old uh, rectangle has area this. Okay, sir. Right. So this new area, this new area is 20 reduced by the old area. What is the old area? 20. So this new area is x plus 2, y minus 2. Old area is how much? x, y. x, y minus 20. So this is the first equation. Understood? Yes, sir. So we have to solve this, right? We have to solve this. So how much uh, we would get? So this is uh, x, y, and this is uh, x minus 2, so minus 2x minus 2x and this is plus 2y minus 4 xy minus 20. So xy, xy cancels, right? Yes, sir. And uh, this is minus 2x plus 2y and minus 20 plus 4. So this is 20. minus huh, 24? If, no, sir. Sorry. Yeah, so this is a uh, minus 16. So let's take minus 2 common in each of the side, right? So if we take minus 2 common, so this would be x, right? And this is, this would be how much? If we take minus 2 common from 2y, so this would be how much? x plus y? No, this is 2y. And I have taken minus two from it. So what is left? Let me write it as minus minus. So I take minus two y from it. So what is left? Minus two. Minus y. Oh. Right. So this is minus y. And you can see that if you multiply minus 2 into minus y, so how much will you get? Minus 2 into minus y is how much? Plus 2. Plus yes. 2, right? So we will we'll get back this. Uh, if this is confusing, so let's keep at, uh, so let's, let's keep it this way, right? Don't take any power. So let's keep it this way. Okay, if this is confusing. Okay, now let us uh, understand about the second, second condition. So if, however, the length is reduced by one, so what is the newest? What is the newest, newest length? The length is X, remember. Mm -hmm. And the newest length is reduced by one. So what is the newest length? 
x minus 1 x minus 1 and what is the nearest breadth it is um, is increased by 2 degrees so it is y plus 2 y plus 2 okay so the new class when i have for you what should we do yeah so i will just do this problem and i have talked about this elimination method and i have talked about this uh, substitution okay so i can join the Oh, you guys, uh, please join the next one. Okay, sir.